previously on JSTV. We're heading to Tasmania. Mick and Simon couldn't make it. We've got Tom on guitar. Ian playing drums. We share a room. We share a shower. Looking for the Tasmanian tiger. Here he is. Oh my god. The room is a tree. It's good. Hello, it's me again, and I'm in this exact same spot that I was last week. Uh, just me and the boss today, and heading to Townsville for the PBR, playing in the middle of the entertainment center, gonna be pretty cool. Just gonna get a bit of a feed before we go. You feel like a toasted sandwich. You don't look like a toasted sandwich. Oh, dad jokes. <laughs> so Dana just said to me if I end up doing in all the videos again this weekend, she's gonna have a fit. I'm leaving you in Townsville. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Just doing some shots on the plane for uh, a bit of a celebration. Shots of little milks. <sighs> Dangerous week, mate. If you don't do these bloody little shots of uh, milk, then you're not hard. That's just the way it is. Also, see this? Stick. Stick it up your bum. up at the PBR, Townsville Entertainment Center. This always gets me going, man. It's so cool. Back in, we're just about to go back to the accommodation, check in and chill out for a little bit. This is tonight's venue, just a little cool, you know? This is definitely one of those moments where you're an artist and you get something like this and it's like, holy hell. This is where they load in all the balls. This is what's backstage. So the big arena is in there, as you can see. And this is where it's all, they load him in. This is the holding pen for all of them. Just got here to the Ecom, these beautiful purple pillows. I'm gonna do what every rock star does, party real hard and have a nap or something. So the boss and I are sharing a room this time. This is my bed and Dana's bed. So that means pillow fight! Pillow fight! Can you tell, see what she puts up with? Do you reckon she she enjoys this? Oh! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got two. <laughs> Got him! Uh, waiting for an Uber to get, head back to the venue and do a sound check and get something to eat and yeah, cool. Doing do the thing. How you doing? Doing the thing. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. Yeah. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> the name on the door. They spelled it right. I'm very, very stoked. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a pretty big place. It's pretty cool. Where are we? Yeah, we've showed up at our Townsville Entertainment Center. Really, really cool place. As you can see, it's massive. Do a swirl. Pretty cool. It's massive. Uh, we did this last year. It was absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward to it tonight. Um, yeah. This is what it's like. It's our entertainment center when no one's here. There's some balls in this house. There's some balls in this house. Just spotted this on the wall. This is absolutely awesome. The Living End is one of my favorite bands of all time. When I actually started playing music, I was a, a drummer for a Living End tribute band. That was my first ever band. Bit of throwback knowledge for you. I've had legendary Lee Kernigan here. John Denver. This is pretty damn cool. 1996 Mel Haggard. Wait up. Loading into the PBR, all my gear. This is it, because they have everything else for me. Oh, such hard work carrying all these things. Sucks being a performer, I tell ya. Bit as. We're out here for sound check. Here's my microphone. This is what it looks like from in the middle of a bull riding ring. We start off with a big spotlight, whatever that is. And then, yeah, it's gonna kick off with all the lights. Pretty cool. Stupid of your bum. Oh, oh, that was loud. No this is what we're right next to just outside the venue how cool is this how nice is that sorry how nice is that how gorgeous is that Doors are open. Starting to pack in. It's gonna be fun. For your fun. 
walk backstage as well. Look at it, everyone. Don't you guys want to come and hang out with this? It's so exciting. It's not. It's, like, it's so extra. I'm not gonna roll out here. I mean, it's just. It's just me tonight. So I haven't got the guys. I haven't got Simon or Ian or Mick or Tom or India. It's just about me. Yeah, it's just 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 me. So I'm gonna give you guys a huge tour of this amazing backstage. So this is the main room. We've got the rock star lights up here. Come in here, I'll show you something really, really exciting. This is a shower. So what you do with a shower is you get naked in it. However, I'm gonna break the rule and kick it. And stand in here without it. This over here is a toilet. This is where I do all my uh, pre-show nervous shits before I walk out in front of an entertainment center sized crowd. You can use these to wipe the poo out of your pants when you're nervous of um, going on stage. That's pretty much the whole backstage. Kobe. Oh! oh. <laughs> So go on stage, we've got all the bulls in here. We're going around and then into the, into the stadium, so follow us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there is a bull. There's a bull, and when the bull does a shit, do you know what that is? Bullshit! I was a weird kid, I used to hang out at the party with my best friend. PBR was a lot of fun, so much fun. Uh, however, something happened tonight and it is a performer's worst nightmare. So I walked out on stage, I walked out on dirt in the middle right there, and as I started to sing, my in-ears stopped working, nothing. I had to go off muscle memory and listening, I had to take them out, and it was a little bit delayed because of the echo inside the entertainment center. Hardest thing I've ever had to do. It was still so much fun. Thank you for everyone that uh, sang along with me tonight. You guys were so loud, but wow, that is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Or some shit. The boss is laughing at me. Have a look at this shit. Look at this. What are you having a laugh about? I'm the one that doesn't care. Because you make you don't stronger. do quotes and you're here just suddenly killing you're all the, quotes. Because you're the quote queen. I'm the queen. Quote queen. Mm. I gave Dana a present for her um, birthday a couple of years ago and it literally says inspirational quote Josh Setterfield because she loves inspirational quotes so much. I don't like your inspirational quote. You want to hear an inspirational quote from me? Howdy, howdy, let's get fucking rowdy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm very drunk. Oh, yeah. I, uh, had a couple of drinks after the set. Spoke to a couple of people, met a bunch of people, and I had probably five too many drinks. And now I'm going to use this cone here as a megaphone. Going to use it. Stick it on your bomb! Oh, that echoed. Huh? Da -da -da -da. You're drunk.
You know what is stuck in my head of all things right now? A song from Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll show you. I'll show you. Look. I'm sure everyone's. What everyone on yeah, Instagram wants them. to hear this. Watch. Yeah, they do. Okay. Ready? See. Amatrix, which is ready. Okay. See you later. Let's get up. Let's go downstairs. See ya. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I think. I think I should make this part of my new image. Oh, you go, Mike. Cuckoo. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. You there, boss? Yeah. Boss. I literally woke up today and my hair just looks like I'm out of some like 2010s like emo pop band, like Eskimo Joe or something. Black fingernails, red wines. Morning. Morning. Love sunlight, it's my favorite thing, especially like when we were in Tasmania last week and now we're in Townsville this week because it's like going from the freezer to the oven. It's really good. As you can see, I'm wearing this t-shirt again. All right, this is actually India's band, my bass player. Um, and I forgot to bring more clothes, so she's getting a lot of promo today. Check it out. Number one on CMT on TV. We are just in the van. This has sparked my my energy like so far this morning. We've uh, we just jumped in and I was like, fuck yeah. And the poor man driving the um, shuttle was like, oh, what? what? <laughs> Had a huge excitement to say. Knuckles at number one on TV. Hell oh, yeah. So as you saw, the song's at number one on CMT. So we are having a beer at, what time is it? At nine, nine o'clock in the morning. So, cheers. I have a number one on CMT. That is insane. So that's it, weekend's over. We're gonna be back in Townsville next week, literally, um, with the Wolf Brothers. And we'll catch up with you then. I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for coming if you saw us at the PVR. Killer time. I say that every video, but it really is. How you feel about it, Yeah, I think it was really well. Have we got a number one? In number one today on CMT. Can't get better than that. So I just, uh, on the flight home, I just did another hectic shot of a uh, Little Milk. And this legend right here just walked past us like, I oh, saw that, here you go. Well, he's trying to get me drunk off the calcium, I tell you. In the spirit of the Wolf Brothers, I'm gonna line them up and throw them back. Here we go.